needs some more click to it. I mean, it's it's pretty aggressively EQ, but it yeah. still needs a green that green guy. guy. Yeah. Well, let's let's bring the green guy. Compressor is is pretty quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the compressor a little bit to about four milliseconds. And then what that should do, remember how we talked about last week, how we're going to try to wave shape the, the kick drum. This is our kick drum right now. And we're going to add the compressor so that the attack time waits about three to five milliseconds. And it's going to allow this to go through, and we're going to cut off down here. And ideally, what we're going to do is we're going to create this sort of ADSR. Cool. Does that make sense to you, too? Yes. So we're actually wave shifting. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a clickier kick drum. Make it in a little more punchy. No, a little more clicky. Less punchy. Okay, so at a four to one ratio, we're going to make the threshold a little bit lower. And let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's going to be good. So, no EQ. You know how, like, it kind of sounds like you're in a cardboard box. Mixing, you can really start with you know just soloing these guys and bringing that kick drum up so it supports it. It kind of adds that punchiness to it. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove about. 80 hertz to 200 hertz out of the overheads or the rest of your drum mix. So let's do this. And we're 
only going to bring them up now. So they're five and six, right? Mm -hmm. We're only going to bring them up to support everything else. Time seems to be moving fast. I always thought this would last. I thought I would never leave this life of being free. But I'm moving on. Away from this desolate town, life is short. Live it hard, or else why live at all? Does that make more sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you really got to focus on your EQs, like to remove that mud because that's that's what was happening. And the organ was literally drowning out all of the, and the guitars were just drowning out everything. It was sort of like your drums were floating in this soupy mess of whatever. So start with the drums, get them nice and clear, and then start from the bottom. So you have a lot in vocals too with like high pass filters, you kind of need to cut off that first 100 to 150 hertz because it really interferes with the lower end frequencies on the instrumental. Well it depends what type of vocal you're looking for. Yeah. If you're doing metal, no, you want to keep that. Yeah. If you're doing a higher tenor voice like he's got, maybe you keep it in, you know, give him more chest presence too. Yeah. So. Um, is this your final mix? This is not the final mix.